This is James Holder for AFL TV in association with Matt Institute in Marbella. I'm in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. We've just witnessed a fantastic fight between Bill Mays Devert and the new uh, WBC heavyweight champion Dante Wilder. With me I've got Roberto Diaz. Roberto Diaz, how are we doing sir? Very happy, very content. I mean, look, it's been a long road, uh, a lot of criticism. Um, you know, and it's it's here. It's here. The title came back to America. Um, very exciting fight. We saw there was blows, bombs, boxing, jabs, skill, and the better man won tonight. You know what? And I'm very, very, very happy. Very emotional. It, it means a lot. And I'm very happy for Deontay Wilder. I mean, a lot of the journalists have even got it wrong. Everyone's been going on the record saying that Stavern will will take Deontay to school, he's never been past the fourth round. When he gets in the deep waters, he's going to struggle. He, he's kind of proved everyone wrong today, hasn't he? I think so, and we knew, look, uh, like we, it was hard, it was hard. I, I, won't, I won't lie, um, a lot of criticism, he's not fought anybody. He had, he's fought everybody he was put in front of him. The division wasn't what it was a few years ago, where you had from one to ten the best fighters and top fighters. So he fought whoever, and he was building and building and little by little. But I think he silenced the critics. Um, he's great for boxing. The personality, those who know him, or when they know him, will know what I'm talking about. He is very good for boxing. He's gonna be fun, the excitement's back. It wasn't a boring fight. You had drama, you had punches, you had knockdowns, you had boxing, you had, you had it all. And at the end of the day, it was great. The title came back. Heavyweight boxing is probably one of the biggest, biggest spectacles in the sport. How does it feel to have an American heavyweight champ back, back to the big time, so to speak? Well, you know, it, it's, it's, it gives it life. Mm -hmm. You know, for many years, um, we didn't see the heavyweight fights here uh, or the world title at that level because obviously the champions have been in Europe. In the UK, you guys had David Hay, <laughs> good friend of mine and a great yes, fighter, yeah. one of my favorites. Um, but today, it's back. It's back in the US, back on the big stage in Vegas. And you know what, I think over the next few years, you guys are gonna enjoy watching heavyweight knockouts. Imagine Wilder and Fury, Wilder and Price, Wilder and Hay, oh my goodness, Wilder the fights. Oh, but, and a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Let Anthony build a little bit more with the experience he has. Another great fighter coming out of the UK. Now, I mean, the Klitschko fight, the unification fight, might not be available. It might be a hard and a long slog to get that. But the Tyson Fury fight, that's, that's a real genuine that's fan excitement. favorite. That's excitement. That's excitement. Two fight, big guys coming out to knock you out. You could sell tickets for the press conference for that, couldn't you? Uh, Weigh-ins, press conference, <laughs> the fight, and then the post-fight press conference. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. When can we see Deontay out in action next? What, what well, goes on? Well, obviously, uh, that's up to his team and his new uh, his new team. Um, like I said, I mean, it's a it's a very uh, how do you say uh, very emotional night. We're very happy for Deontay. Obviously, he's made the decision or the decision's been made to move on to another company, another promotion. We wish him all the best of luck. What promotion and, is he going with? Uh, I believe he's going with Premier Boxing, uh, Al Heyman's promotion. And uh, you know what? We wish him all the best of luck. We know he's going to make America proud. And personally, he made me very proud tonight. Deontay, we love you, man. Spoken like a true gentleman and a true uh, man of the sport. Thanks for giving me some time today, Roberto. Always. Great to see you, mate, and I'll catch you again. Say, Rick, tell Ricky Hatton I said hello. I will do. Thank you, sir. Cheers, mate.